Hello everyone, my name is Katherine Hilgren and I'm a whole health coach as well as a yoga instructor at the St. Louis VA. And today I'm going to take you through a gentle uh, chair yoga practice that's focusing mostly on the lower body. So if you'd like to join me and you're able to find a space in your house and a chair that you can comfortably use, um, you're welcome to uh, also grab a prop of some kind. Um, I have what's called a, a yoga strap. So it's kind of a nifty strap you can use for all kinds of helpful things. Um, but if that's not something that you have, you're also welcome to grab just a towel. So I've got this towel here, you could kind of roll it up a little bit, um, and this is a great alternative if you don't have a strap. So um, I'll show you what we're going to do with those a little later on. Um, but if you'd like to have either one of those things close by, you can feel free to set them aside where you can easily grab them. And we'll just go ahead and jump on into our short practice. So to get started, we'll just find a comfortable seated posture. You might start with your feet about hips width distance or so. Maybe the hands rest comfortably on the knees. And we'll take a moment here just to settle and breathe. Maybe taking a second to acknowledge to yourself that you're getting ready to enter in now into a yoga practice. So you can close your eyes if you'd like, or you can keep your eyes open or just gently gazing out into the space in front of you. And maybe this is a time when you can just gently start to let go of any thoughts or worries or to-do lists if there is one. <laughs> if you're sitting home with not much to do, maybe there's not a to-do list. Um, but whatever you have going on, maybe just give yourself this time now to gently let that all go and give yourself time to be fully present here on your mat. So as you settle now, starting to notice your breathing, Maybe taking a second to notice the feeling of your body resting in the chair. Maybe noticing the feeling of your feet on the mat or the floor. Maybe noticing where your hands are resting. And just settling in. Pausing to breathe here. Giving yourself a moment to transition into this practice. As we get started, you might begin to lengthen up just a little taller, lifting tall through the crown of the head, maybe bringing the chin about parallel to the floor. And while we'll focus mostly on the lower body, we'll start with just a little bit of movement in the arms. You can let the arms hang down by your side. And as you breathe in, maybe you begin to float the arms forward up in front of you. And as you exhale, the arms can come down. We'll find a few breaths just like that. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, arms lower. You might only lift your arms about shoulder height, but if you'd like to send the arms up higher, you're welcome to. And then exhale, come on down. We'll take a few more rounds just like that. Inhale. Exhale. If you'd like to add the gaze, you can inhale, lift the gaze high. Exhale, lower. Maybe one more time. Maybe you pause here to reach and stretch. And before we come down, maybe you use your left hand to grab the right wrist. You might take an inhale, lengthen and exhale, find just a little stretch over to the left. And we'll try to swap sides. You can use your right wrist, right hand to grab your left wrist. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, little side stretch. And then release and come on down. Might bring the elbows down to the knees, coming into a soft forward fold here. If you need a deeper forward fold, you can always take your fingertips down to the floor. And you can press into the feet and maybe just gently roll your way right back up to a nice tall seat. We'll find just a couple of cat and cow postures. As you inhale, you can poke the elbows back and squeeze that little space in between your shoulder blades. Lift the gaze, lift from the heart. Exhale, gently round the shoulders, chin to chest. Maybe draw the belly button in as you round the upper back. Inhale forward, exhale round. Inhale forward. 
exhale round. And as you make your way back to a tall seat, just a gentle warm up of the upper body, start to move now into the legs. From here, you might start by just toe heeling the feet out so that the feet are at the edges of your mat or maybe just a little wider than the hips. And take an inhale here, sit nice and tall. And let's add a little twist. We'll bring the right hand to the inside of the right knee and see if you can maybe press back just a bit into that right hand. Maybe start to twist the shoulders to the left. You can pause and breathe here. So we're doing a little bit of hip opening. Also a little bit of a twist. Pause and breathe here. And then return to center. We'll try the same thing, going the opposite direction. Left hand to the inside of the left knee and maybe you press back a little bit if you can. And as you press, you might twist now the shoulders to the right. Pause here for a breath. And then release. Again, we'll press the right hand into the right knee, or if you want to drop on down to the forearm, you can take it for a little bit of a deeper twist. Maybe you press the forearm back a little bit. Again, you might twist the shoulders open. If you wanted to add a reach with the left arm, you could. And then back here, right to center. Again, you can take the left hand to the inside of the left knee, or maybe the forearm comes to the inside. And gently press back rotate the shoulders to the right and again if you want to add that reach with the right arm maybe you turn both palms forward and open into a little twist here opening into the hips a bit and then come on down do one more hip opener maybe this time you press both hands into the knees and lift the chest forward or if you want a deeper stretch you can take the forearms down and maybe gently press the forearms back as you draw the heart forward and come on back. From here, we'll toe heel the feet back together. And then use a little bit of energy in the hands and in the legs as you press the hands to the outside of the knees. See if you can gently squeeze the belly and try to press the knees out into the hands. So just a little isolated movement here. Pause for a breath and soften. And we'll try going the opposite way. You can bring the hands just to the inside of the knees. See if you can push the arms out and squeeze the knees in. Just starting to bring some engagement all around those muscles, the hips, the legs. You might even give your legs a little shake here side to side. You might even kind of bounce the feet a little bit. And then from here, let's grab for that right knee. And see if you can draw the right knee up into the chest. So maybe you lift just an inch or so, or maybe you draw the knee up and in. See if you can lift nice and tall and give that knee a little squeeze into the body. And then release it down. We'll try the same thing on the other side. You can grab for that left knee and lift it as much as you'd like to up into the chest. And then release it down. Let's try that once more on each side. You can draw that right knee up and in, give it a little squeeze and release and on the other side we'll give it a little squeeze and release so we'll start to bring those movements together with our some arm movement so from here let's take an inhale we'll send the arms right up overhead and as you exhale let's come right on down to a forward fold and as you get to the bottom, we'll grab for that right knee. And as you sit tall, we'll lift and draw the knee right up into the chest. And then exhale, release it down. Maybe you fold a bit forward. We'll drop, grab for that left knee, draw it up into the chest. And release. And as you come back down to this forward fold, we'll press the feet into the earth, sweep the arms out and up. And hands to the heart. So kind of a sun salutation variation. Let's try the same thing again. We'll go the opposite direction. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, take your forward fold, but first we'll start with the left knee this time. As you inhale, draw the left knee up into the chest and release. Bring the right knee with us this time and down. Forward fold and then sweep the arms out and up. Hands to the heart. 
and release the hands. So from here, let's try extending the right leg straight out in front of the body. Might feel nice to stretch this leg out a little bit. We'll try to keep the left foot planted. See if you can take a nice tall seat here. And then keeping this nice long spine, you might use your hands on this left knee for support. And before we find any movement here, maybe just a quick little rotation or ankle of your uh, ankle of your foot, rotation of your ankle <laughs> or movement in your foot, something like that. And once you get comfortable here, you can plant that heel down, maybe flex the foot. Take an inhale, lift up nice and tall. And as you exhale, you can come forward with a nice long spine. And it might not take much before you feel a stretch down the back side of that right leg. So just listen to your body. We'll take a couple breaths here. If your body starts to soften a little bit into this fold, you might take it a little deeper. You might even explore adding a little engagement into that right thigh. Maybe one day you reach down towards the knee, the shin, or maybe even down to the foot. Pause for a breath. And you can find your way back up. We'll draw that right foot in and we'll extend the left leg out. And again, we just give yourself a moment here to find a little rotation of your ankle. Maybe point and flex the foot a little bit. And as you get settled here, sit up nice and tall. Maybe stack the hands on that right knee to support the chest. Inhale, sit tall. Maybe flex the toes back towards you if you can. And then come on down. Again, pause wherever you start to feel the stretch and then breathe from there. Over time, you might notice a little bit more length little bit more flexibility. Maybe you can add a little engagement into that left thigh. And if you need the toes to be pointing down as you get started with this, you're welcome to do that. We'll pause here to breathe a little bit. If you'd like to add a reach down towards that left leg or ankle, you can add that in. And then come on back. Draw that left knee in. And so now that we've warmed up just a little bit at the back of the legs, you can grab either for your towel or for your strap. Maybe I'll demonstrate with the towel just so we can see what that's like. And so from here, you might need to sit back in your chair a little bit. And I'm gonna bring the towel just below my right foot. I'm gonna hold on either side of my knee. So just get comfortable in your chair here. And then from here, we're gonna to try to draw the knee up into the chest. And then from here, we're gonna kick the foot forward. See if you can lift up nice and tall, draw the belly in. See if you can find some length here. And then we'll draw the knee back in. Inhale, find some extension. Exhale, bend into the knee. Inhale, find some extension. Exhale, bend. One more time, length. And another way to do this, uh, if lifting and holding like this is, is quite a challenge, you can always bring this foot down to the floor and just try this, lifting and lowering. It's a great alternative. And then as you'd like, you can bring maybe both parts of the towel into the same hand if you're able to. It's pretty thick, so it's hard to hold. See if you can bring that foot out in front of you and then we'll try to open into the hip. So I'm going to sweep my right leg out to the right side. See if you can pause here for a breath or if you'd like to add some movement, you can draw the foot back in and then send it right back out. You might try that once or twice more in and out and then back to center and you can drop that heel back down to the floor. And so to work into the hip a little bit, you can start to bend that right knee and maybe you simply cross your right ankle onto the left ankle and then let the right knee sort of gently fall open to the side. Or another option would be to start walking your hands down the towel, maybe one day lifting your foot up onto your knee. So if that's not a possibility, just maybe come halfway or right on down. So wherever you are today, and then once you find your stopping point, see again if you can lift up nice and tall, you might feel a lot of sensation in that right outer hip. 
maybe even into the lower back. And this might be an opportunity to add a little bit of a fold. See if you can breathe here. And on the way down, release all the way back to the floor. You can release your towel or your strap. Use my strap for the second side. And so before we go to the second side, just pause for a second and take a moment to notice if there's any difference in sensation on the right side of the body than the left. Since we have only done the one side, maybe just noticing what that movement brought to the body. And then we'll try similar movement on the other side. So I'm gonna bring my strap down now below my left foot. I'm gonna aim for the ball of the foot. So there's a little bit more support there than in the arch. And bring hands to either side of that left knee. And then we'll try a few rounds of lifting and lowering and lifting and lowering. Maybe this time lift and then see if you can extend the leg straight out in front of the body. And then we'll bend the knee, drawing the foot back towards the seat of the chair, and then extend. And bend. And extend. Again, you've got the option here to tr keep the leg straight the whole time and just try lifting and lowering. Also a great option here. And then when you're ready, you can bring both straps together into the left hand. And as you sit tall, you can float that left leg out in front of the body and then we'll sweep it open to the left side. Maybe your gaze follows the toes for this little hip opener. You pause for a breath here. And if you wanna add movement, you can gently move the leg in and out. Staying with your breath. And as you make your way back to center, you can bend the left knee and maybe same options here. You cross the left ankle in front of the left ankle and maybe you just let that knee fall open to the side. It's a great place to stay. Or you might lift and kind of hold halfway. Or you might try setting that foot right up and onto the knee. You might notice in your body, maybe one side's a little tighter than the other. One side might be a little bit more open. So make whatever adjustments you need. And then same option here to lengthen up tall and from wherever you are, perhaps hinge forward slightly. Again, you might notice um, a lot of sensation, opportunity to stretch into that left outer hip. See if you can pause here and breathe. You know, many of us hold a lot of tension in the shoulders and in the hips. So maybe this is an opportunity to let go of a little bit of that. Another breath here. And as you release, you can slowly lower the foot right back down to the floor. And you can remove your strap and maybe take a moment again just to observe if there's any change now in what you sense from one side to the other. Maybe you feel a bit more balanced. From here, let's try one more time that um, back of the leg stretch. We'll send the right leg out. Take an inhale, sit tall, and exhale, come on forward. And maybe you notice now that we've been here before, perhaps it feels a bit more open. Take a breath in and out. Can you flex the toes back towards you? And then release. Try once on the other side, extend the left leg, maybe flex the toes, sit tall, and then exhale, hinge forward. Find your breath and release. And before we wrap up, we'll do one more posture. Hopefully it'll give a little opportunity to open up the front of the hips. So I'm gonna turn all the way to the left side of my chair. And it's useful if you have, um, you know, hold on to the back side of the chair here. And I'm gonna try dropping the front, my front knee, the right knee down towards the floor. And so maybe you come down just halfway or if you're able to, you might bring that foot or knee straight down to the floor. And if you're really open, you might even extend the leg back kind of into a lunging posture. So I'll just demonstrate right here, halfway down. And so it's an opportunity here to start to open up into the front 
of this right hip. So you can stay right here and breathe. If you feel a little cramp at the back of your leg, you might bring the top of your foot down or just come on out of this posture if you need to. Another alternative is to send the leg straight out in front of the body, straight out to the top of the mat there. So wherever you've chosen, you might sit nice and tall and maybe we'll add a side body stretch by extending that right arm and then hinging up and over to the back side of the chair. Pause here for a breath, big opening here. And release, come on down. That one feels nice <laughs> for me. If it doesn't feel so good for you, you can skip it. Or if it feels really good, maybe you add it in a couple times. We'll just do it once in this practice today. We'll do the same on the other side. You can drop the knee down to the floor. Maybe you walk the foot back behind you if you need that, that little extra. And then same option here. We'll send the left arm up overhead. And then hinge up and over towards the back of the chair. Nice long stretch. Find your breath. Feel expansion all the way down that front side of the left hip. And release. Come on down. As you make your way back to center, let's take just one more inhale, lifting the arms overhead. Exhale, we'll take a forward fold, kind of soften and round into the back. On your way up, you might slide the hands up to the knees. Maybe lengthen the crown of the head forward. You might even find a little bit of a lift in the chest. And find your way back up to a tall seat. And as we close, you can come back to the seat of your chair. Just ease into a resting posture. Maybe you end with palms facing up. And as you take some time to breathe here, again, begin to notice any change or flow of energy or sensation in your body that may have occurred as a result of your practice today. We'll take a few closing breaths together, easing and settling into the chair, seeing if you can let go of any leftover tension that might be residing somewhere in the body. Adding a little softness with each breath. We'll close with three breaths together, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Once more, breathing in kindness, compassion, and joy. Open mouth, exhale. Sending a little of that out into the world. And press the palms together, guide the thumbs in close to the heart. The light and the teacher within me sees and honors the light and the teacher in each of you. Peace and love. Thank you so much for joining me.